Hi everybody, this is Mega Energy Man and I proudly present you the discovering of the DJ Zoro story. So, I made some posts, um, who is DJ Zoro, Mike Scanner, Mr. Groove, Derek Simon and Mega Energy Man. So, Mega Energy Man is me. So, who is DJ Zoro? Oh yeah, so a lot of people know that, that DJ Zoro is this guy that you know already as Mega Energy Man. So it's now out for everybody. Um, I had some really interesting conversations on Instagram and also on Facebook that people were shocked that were going, huh? what, what, so you are DJ Zorro? Yes, I am. So, the funny thing about that is I didn't want it to be any DJ Zorro or whatever. So, it came out like this. And um, I was in uh, Dave Rogers' studio in uh, Mantova. And um, it was a funny thing because I love Andrea Bocelli. So, the Bocelli song um, that I always sang when I warmed up my vocal cords here. Oh. So um, Giancarlo liked it and said, well, you can sing a sort of opera. I said, yeah, I had a couple of lessons too. And uh, he said, well, well let, let's try, let's try some, some very simple things. And I was, I was going like this when I warmed up, like, uh, Stuff like this, and he said, well, do you know Eros del Silencio? And I said, yes, well, it's a Spanish group. Well, they, they sing very theatralic, like, something like this. And I said, yeah, I know that, um, let's try. And um, we did over the phone, we did one song, and um, this song, I think it's called Bombas or something like this. Uh, bomba, bomba, yeah, bomba, bomba, something like this. And um, so we started to go and on and on and on, and we made like uh, Cuerpo and uh, some other some other songs. I don't even remember how many songs we sang or I sang and we recorded and. Um, the funny about the whole story is not that I sing that kind of voice. So the Japanese AVAX tracks, they didn't even knew that was me. Maybe now they know it. So after, and I swear, after 10 years singing DJ Zoro, <laughs> I still have to laugh. So they asked, Mr. Pasquini, Mr. Dave Rogers, and they said, what kind of language does he sing in? And Giancarlo answered, well, he's singing Spanish, because my name is Thomas Marin Gonzalez, which I'm Spanish born. So, <laughs> the funny thing about all that is, they said, the Japanese guys from the record company, they said, well, we don't understand Spanish. He should sing now English, and now listen, listen, very good. He should sing English with a Spanish accent. That means I couldn't do that, so I had to learn that. And what did I do to learn this Spanish accent? All right, so I went and I went to the record shop at these days and um, I bought some Julio Iglesias, when the begin, the begin, stuff like this, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and um, I learned Spanish, now English with a Spanish accent, so this is what then came out, and um, we made also a song which is very funny too, I, uh, DJ Doro goes to London, and there was one, <laughs> one guy who wrote on the commentary, he wrote, what the hell does DJ Zoro 
in London. And、um, I think it's still funny. It's still funny. All these stories and all the things about DJ Zoro. And、um, on the songs, it's always about、uh, the, the man with the horse, so safe,、uh, girl, love, and stuff like this. And it's all in Spanish with this Heroes del Silencio. This theatralic opera style and some wah, 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 stuff like this. So now it's out. And、um, I proudly present to you Mr. DJ Zoro is here. This guy is DJ Zoro. And I hope you're not mad at me and you still like the other songs too. And.、Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm, that I'm laughing, but it's all so funny. I'm still thinking about these guys. I said, What the hell is singing? We don't understand Spanish in Japan. Let him sing English. And、um, so I did. So, this is the story about DJ Zorro, the other singers like Mike Scanner and Derek Simon or Mr. Groove. So, the record company, which, which, which was ABC and、um, the producing company and all the, these guys, well, they decide which one, so more poppy and more me, me, me voice, or a little bit more, oh, a little bit more male voice, or <clears throat> my voice is still not very good at the moment. But anyway, so these guys、um, decided to put this. Recording on that one or on that one、uh, figure, which, which was uh, like uh, Mr. Groove or whatever. And, and now, one thing for you all over the world <clears throat> guess who and what was the first song that I recorded in Mantova? Yes. The first one was Megaton Man, and that one sounded a little bit, <coughs> sorry, a little bit like George Michael, if you remember that. I'm a Megaton Man, baby! Because I was looking a lot of la- like George Michael, and、uh, so we made the voice a bit very similar to this. Yes, I'm gonna have faith, 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 baby! I couldn't. I could that imitate very, very well. So, these are some stories behind the records, the recording.、Um, we had a lot of discussions in studio, and、um, now, now, 20 years later, I'm a bit older. Oh, no, not very much, but a bit. I have now glasses. Because otherwise, I can't see the camera. And、um, I did a lot of work. And I worked also for Walt Disney, for the Eurobeat, Walt Disney, Euro Disney songs, Go the Distance. I'm still proud of it because the whole song was not, not even one note corrected by the computer, even not that highest note that you have on the. Song and the end of a song was created by me, and I'm very, very, very proud of that song and the opportunity that I could work for Walt Disney. I'm still, I'm still very, very, very proud of that. So, guys, if you liked that video, so do me a favor. Just go and subscribe. Usually, I should have a button over here, but I don't have anymore. I want to have the whole video natural as possible. And、um, I think the next videos that I do also for YouTube, they're not gonna have this flash. No, they're gonna be me, Thomas Marine. Very simple, very easy, very cool. Normal, just normal, and、uh, yeah, what the hell do we need? Some whatever it is, we just need a good song, good melody, good producer, and a good singer. And if we got all that together, we put all 
out there for you, for you all my fans who deserve good quality and not this tuning and, and, and correcting. No, this, this is my voice and I learn it from small bit, step, 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 step until I have that now and go and just subscribe on YouTube or even better do me a favor if you like my songs if you like my voice if you like whatever just go on iTunes download it make the Eurobeat coming back for all the team who is standing behind me and it's a very big team it's Carlo Cantini it's Steve Rondini it's Sandro Oliva and it's a lot many people, a lot more many people out there and I will show you that Eurobeat is gonna coming back, back, back and we're gonna have a real big revival on Eurobeat. So, Initial D, Eurobeat, Hyper Techno, whatever it is, I have a, a very big team now in the background and a lot, I mean a really lot, good famous singers and uh, they are all ready to come back flying to the moon, flying with me, with you, with everybody into the world of music back again. With your help you are gonna make Eurobeat big, bigger and huge! Thank you very much for listening and having fun looking this video of Mega Energy Man and discovering DJ Zaro. See you soon. Bye bye. Hope you like it.